Guys, welcome back. Today we are working on Sparky. He is the uh, 2012 Ford Focus uh, electric battery driven. He's got a big old battery back there. This isn't the hybrid one. This is the all electric. And what's happening is we're getting a P006 um, code. And what that tells us is the battery is leaking voltage. And if we look right here, it's only leaking like up to 3.2 on the hot, on the positive side and 1.61 on the negative side. And so if you look at that waveform right there, that tells you that it's not like a uh, hard fault. So there's not like a hard fault going on here. This is some sort of, um, you know, there's something wrong with the computer or there's something wrong with a, a fuse or a, a, a resistor or something like that. You know, it's, it's not a fuse. I don't know why I said fuse, but you know what I mean? There's, there's, um, there's something going on here. And so, um, I went ahead and <clears throat> I purchased a, I was, I was thinking real hard about it and I was like, okay, so what are some of the things that make waveforms like that? And I was like, all right, that, uh, DC to DC converter, that could be one of them. You know, it makes a, uh, a, it can make power, it, it converts power, it, yeah, it converts power from DC to DC, like 300 volts down to whatever this guy is, 12 volt, 12.6 volts in it, and it fills this battery up when it needs it. And the other one that does that is like, you know, the, the transmission control module, which is under here. And then, so the other thing that will do it is a charger. And I have one of the uh, chargers, I actually have one of each. I went ahead and got one of the DC to DC because they were really affordable. And then this guy, I got a smoking deal on him too. Um, I got the DC converter out of a 2015. And um, so I went ahead and bought one of them <clears throat> and thinking that those are all the things that make waveforms when they're trying to make power or handle power. And I was looking at the wiring diagram and I took the battery apart because it tells you when you got that fault, it's like the leak is in the battery. So the, your first instinct, it's like when the gas cap's loose on a Wrangler, the first thing you do is you replace the gas cap. But guess what? It's not really the gas cap. Just like that fault isn't really, there's no leak in the high voltage system because you're not going to see 3.6 by 1.6 voltage leaks on the high voltage side you're gonna see you know something more consistent and it's not gonna be a waveform so one of these modules is acting funny you know there's there's tons of modules in here and if you really get to looking at it though there and it doesn't even it doesn't even get close to telling you something like that with the diagnostics and I Bought the manual from Helm, and I'll tell you, the digital manual from Helm is worthless when it's for electric cars. Helm is the company that makes all of these books and stuff like that for Ford. Well, when it comes to the electric cars, don't even waste your money. So I finally found the powertrain control module, and you can't even see that sucker. He's like buried down here in the car. I mean, you just literally can't even see him. And if I didn't have the uh, wiring diagram with the manual, I wouldn't even know where that guy was. So we're looking at the um, e the uh, the uh, uh, what is that? <laughs> I lost track. This is my train of thought here, uh, trying to find the the page. Yeah, the power the powertrain control module. Sorry guys. So the powertrain control module. I was like, I was looking for, I was like, what is controlling this? You know, what is causing this um, small waveform? So I got those pieces and I was like, hmm, I went ahead and got those pieces and come to find out 
high voltage source, high voltage sense. So there's a source of, of high voltage coming into the powertrain control module, and then it's sensing right here that it's getting those funky waveforms. So either there's something wrong with the powertrain control module. Well, that's probably, that's what I'm thinking now. I am primarily thinking that there is something wrong with the PCM on this guy because it's got a shallow waveform of 3.6 on positive and 1.6 on negative. And it's coming, it seems like it's coming out of here because there are no other sensors. Like if you look here at the transmission control module, there are, this is the transmission control module. There are no sensors. There's no sensing of high voltage anywhere on this. There's just not. So obviously something in the powertrain control module is, is, is faulty. And you know what? That one makes sense because this sucker is right up under the wheel well where it gets hammered with water and vibrations and everything. So uh, that's where I'm going to be looking next. And um, I'll report back to you to let you know how it's going. Marmo! Oh, leave your questions and comments down below.